The first part about making that ice cream cake is your pan. And you need a springform pan. This was my first springform pan. That's all I had, so I was able to make my first one out of this when I figured out how to do it. Since then, I've bought these pans that are just amazing, that come off, pop off, just like your springform pan. So, but anybody can do it with this one. This is a reminder that you need to get your bottom back if you give it to somebody. But we came up with this brilliant idea to be able to put um, parchment paper on. So I put it on this one. This will be, I'm going to make two ice cream cakes today. I'm going to make one more. These two will be one recipe, or this will be one recipe. And then I'm going to do one in this pan. So you'll see that this equals this. So for the parchment paper, get a piece of parchment paper and make sure it's a bit bigger than your pan. Better do it on this one. Okay, take it apart. Put the parchment paper on. Put it back in. And once you have a sprinkled pan, you need to make a cheesecake with a little cheesecake. So there we have our spring corn pan put in, and then you'll just trim this side off, and there you have it. So we'll show you how to get it. Okay, I just made up some cake mixes. This one is just a classic cake, and I just I put an, an, one less egg in it just because I'm cheap, and it doesn't matter if it's dense. And this, I didn't have a chocolate cake mix, so my daughter talked me into just making a cake, so I did that. But you just take your cake mix, and it's gonna. Do um, when I only had one pan, then I just did half of it, cooked it, and did the other half. Took it out, and that was going to be the top. So I have two pans now because I've made plenty of these and collected them. And I, so you put it in, and it's not very much in it. So you just kind of smooth it out, and it's just a layer, almost like brownies or something. And you'll see that it's going to be uneven. And it doesn't matter. Let's just now these two pans will make up. Um, I need to put half of the whole batter in these since I don't have another pan this size. I'm just not going to put very much. This will be my top, and then I'll cook these, and then I'll do it again when these are come out of the oven. All right, we've got these out of the oven. Um, I didn't put any Pam on, but you can put Pam on them. And we went around with a knife, and then you just lift this off. And this will be your top. So you can take it off from here. And went around with the knife, and just lift it off. I like to run those over water pretty fast so you can wash them. So these will be your tops, and then we'll get to do the same thing on these. I've got the other big one in. And just put those back in. Okay, we have this. Um, the ice cream has been out for about 30 minutes. And I've kind of just put a knife through it and cutting it. But you have to see this lovely, interesting thing. I actually put this thing on upside down. It fell apart inside of the oven. And I lost it, and then I have retrieved it. We're going to see what this looks like. So what I'm telling you is that it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to take this ice cream and either up to this or to half, up to a half a gallon, and we just kind of dump it in here. And we might need to wait for this to melt a little bit more. You're going to be throwing this in the freezer pretty darn fast, but the whole idea is don't worry about the bottom. It's just, it's a cake. It needs to be really, really tight on it. So we are going to work at pushing it and smoothing it out. I'm chopping it up right now, and I'm going to be smoothing it up. So we'll show you when we've done that. See, I'm just chopping, and hey, even if you get into that cake, it doesn't matter. Try not to, but not a big deal. I also found this in my freezer. Nobody wanted to eat it. You know what? We found out any kind of ice cream is good. So nobody's going to eat it. It's Rocky Road. I love it. We're just going to put this on this one, and we'll take about a quarter of it and put it in this one. 
Ooh, that is gonna be awesome. So we'll come back after I've worked on it. it takes a little bit. Okay, now we don't put any air bubbles in this, so we're just pushing it really hard. Just don't worry that it's a cake on the bottom. Just push, 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 push it. Then, if you want to, you can put another layer of something on. I'm not going to this time, but I've done um, brownies, I've done Oreos crunched up, just a layer, I've done pudding, I've just thrown a whole thing of like raspberry pie filling on there. It's just a fun place to put something if you want to, but we're working on basic, and basic is just so good. It doesn't, no one even sees it, so it doesn't even matter if I reuse this piece of wet paper. Who cares? Text in. So it'll look like this, and then we'll put this top on right here. So remember we have the top. We're going to just put it on and smash it down. Then it's ready to go into the freezer. Overnight is preferable. Three hours is minimum. So I've taken off the sides and um, pulling off the bottom. This could easily have two more layers on it. It would be, it's really fun if you do them really tall and big, you could just put some more layers on. I just have a piece of aluminum foil on here. And this is again the Jello pudding or any kind of pudding. This one happens to have green mint chocolate chips or mint chips because it was on sale. <laughs> Um, so we put half of the milk in it that it calls for, and then we mix it with Cool Whip, and you can add um, powdered sugar if you want, which I didn't. I didn't want to, but the actual recipe calls for that. And the recipe is on quick and healthy meals dot or at quick and healthy meals dot blogspot dot com, and it's not quick and it's not healthy, but put it on anyway because it was requested. So sometimes you just have to have yummy stuff. Okay, looks like we're done and done. Okay, so we used only one cake mix with this um, and that would serve about 15 people. If you use two cake mixes, which is totally acceptable, that would be like 20 people or 25. So I did not want that much cake. Um, we are going to cut it and do a little decorating stuff. I have it really, really plain so you can say, oh my gosh, I can do better than that. So here are, here's just an idea because it's Valentine's Day actually. Um, so we could do the sprinkles. So you put those on and sprinkle it, but let's cut, I'll cut it right now and just, See how it looks. I just, it's only been out less than five minutes. Um, so here is our lovely, and remember how we had to like totally squish down that ice cream and it was so gooey, but that's how it looks. Let's get this white one here. Remember, this is the one that I kind of made the mistake on, but I wanted to show you that it doesn't matter. And I had one of my kids trying to eat the cake mix but I started screaming at them and said, no, 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 we're gonna still have this. <laughs> so here's, but this little size, you could do like three of them with the cake mix and it's such a fun thing if you have just a little friend and this would serve like five, but that's it. And see that bottom is kind of crappy, but it looks fine. If you, if you gave that to somebody, they would just totally love it. So let's just experiment on here and see. If it doesn't turn out, you won't even see it because we'll just cut this off. <laughs> but if you did this be right when it was like, um, before you put it back in the freezer overnight, yeah, that would be really fun. So we could just do all kinds of cookie cutters and maybe I should have. See if that goes cute. Well, maybe the bigger one on that one. Yeah. But we're experimenting here. I'm sure that there are some really clever people out there. But I just wanted to show you the basics, so that's about it.
So good luck. And I've had a lot of people that have done this. And like I say, my high school son did them. And he wanted a spring form pan when he went off to college for his birthday so that he could make him at college. And he just has become the king of ice cream cakes. So thanks for watching us. Please check out our the recipe at Quick and Healthy Meals, even though this is not either dot blogspot.com.